Hello my soccer universe. I'm again trying something new with the perspective here but I thought it may work very well for this video to just stand off center again and show you some stuff here. What am I gonna show you? I had the other day when I was watching Austria against Norway in the stadium I thought mm, this Norway jersey is really nice and I had this throughout the Nations League break. There are a few really nice jerseys that I couldn't really talk about in either of my Euro 2024 jersey review, the Copa America jersey review, the AFCON jersey review and of course the Asian Cup jersey review because those teams were either not present or those jerseys hadn't been released yet and so I thought it's not necessarily a jersey review but I want to present to you a few jerseys that really stood out for me over the past few weeks as being really nice ones some of them are even a little bit older and this is where this Bulgaria jersey come in because the first set I want to present to you is the Bulgarian centenary jerseys there's a three the home jersey, I mean, it's a Bulgarian white jersey with golden detailing. What really makes it stand out is then, of course, if it's worn as a full kit with the green pants and the red socks, all of them have the same golden detailing. But I think even the white shirt is really, really nice. It has the laurel wreath around the crest as well. And then the pattern is of the floor of a basilica, the Pliska Basilica, which has very high national importance to Bulgaria. Potentially, I even like the away jersey a tad better with the slightly darker red tone. I think it's really nice it's just that the color doesn't stand out so much but I really love how we have the darker red and then the lion sticking out and then they also issued a proper golden jersey which is this one. Not very Bulgarian colors but there's something about this overall look you know you have the golden jersey then you have the dark sleeves i wonder if this wouldn't have been better in green a little bit more bulgarian but overall it's a really really nice looking jersey given that i have relations to bulgaria with my wife being from there i am actually a little bit mad that i have not really gone in for either of these jerseys because i really should have one of these let's face it staying with macron they're also the new supplies for slovakia and slovakia got now a more or less proper looking jersey yes maybe a little bit templatey but i actually do like this way better than whatever nike had produced for the euros i love the color with a little bit red here yes it looks weird but i think this adds some personality we can discuss of course whether the royal blue base and then the navy sleeves whether this works well but i think it's a jersey that is actually quite nice looking a little bit more interesting than this box standard jersey that we saw at the euros Staying with an Italian brand, Area now has the UEFA contract for issuing jerseys for the smaller nations. And I think a standout example is this Belarus home jersey with the pattern from the Belarus flag. I don't know why it is in turquoise, but it is going all the way over the shoulders. I think that looks quite nice. And then you have the overall pattern as well. And of course, with Belarus being the last European dictatorship, uh, having kind of the Soviet style crest gives me also some... I don't want to say sentimental vibes, but you know, it looks kind of old school as well. But I think this is overall a very well-crafted jersey. However, it's by far not the best one that Area has put out. With the Fairy Islands, relatively simple, but I think that the center stripe works really well. Again, it needs to house the number. If this would go through, I'd like it a whole lot better than Kazakhstan. That one looks really cool. I love the patterning all over, but also there's some wavy pattern goes in and out. This is a jersey when I saw Kazakhstan play Austria in this one. I really felt this is an absolutely gorgeous looking shirt. So there you go. I also need to mention San Marino because in this jersey they got their big win over Liechtenstein. It's a little bit of departure for San Marino having a white jersey then going into the light blue. It is supposed to represent the San Marino's flag. I guess I see it. I actually do like this gradient that have in the made. The only thing is that the side panels, that's not to my liking. But other than that, the jersey that I had my eyes a little bit on because of the historic significance. And now we all like San Marino, of course. But the best one, the best one of the bunch has to be the Luxembourg away jersey. They played in Bulgaria with this one. It's just awesome. I just love the navy base. You have the Luxembourg flag on the sleeve cuffs and then the lion in the colors of the flag on the side of the crest. I wonder if it would have looked better on the other side, but I understand the lion needs to look towards the left. So yeah, but this is an absolutely gorgeous and amazing shirt. 
That one, yeah, even more than the San Marino shirt, I would love to have this one, especially uh, Luxembourg is not doing that badly as of late. Moving over to the next supplier, Puma. Not too many kits that are great, but they have another contract for New Zealand. And I gotta say this, New Zealand away jersey gives me the vibes of what Nike did for them in 2018. It's more of a camo pattern, but you have the ferns all over. Really like that one. Not so sold on the home jersey, but this away jersey gives me all the New Zealand vibes that I need. And yes, I'm taking it in the sense that I expect New Zealand to play in black because of the All Blacks, which is a rugby team, so the soccer team is the All Whites. I understand that it's still for me New Zealand has to be black. Let's move over to one of the biggest suppliers in Nike and here's the Norway home jersey. Honestly, this is an absolute standout shirt. I love that they finally incorporate the flag pattern. I still wonder, do we need all the gradients in there? Wouldn't it be better if you went just with one red and then a blue center stripe? But on the other side, having this gradient, it just elevates the center even a little bit more. It gives them some more plasticity. What I can say for sure, this is a really great looking shirt. And at first I thought that the away is a little bit understated as compared to the home trees. It's not as much in your face, but having seen it in person and also seeing it here, it's of course, it should be the glaciers that are in Norway this looks actually really cool and then the iridescent crest that's a really nice shirt I'm actually thinking about that one honestly overall I have to say I think the Norway set might well be the best Nike set that has been released in 2024 and that for a nation that has not qualified for the Euros uh, they have two superstars, so I guess I get it from that point of view. Speaking of best set, let's go over to Adidas. And I gotta say, the whale set is pretty much the top that Adidas can achieve with their current template. I love how the home jersey is plain red, but it has these shards going in in the nation's color, a little bit of green, white and red. Looks really, really nice. And they also do something very interesting with the away jersey, with having this zigzag pattern on the side, kind of hiding away the overall template pattern. Wales, really, really nice jerseys. Maybe the shade of yellow is a little bit off, but other than that, absolutely love these. Adidas also took over the contract now for Ukraine after three or four years of having the Homer jerseys that were not bad. We are back with Adidas and it's a very classic Adidas template with you know, the pinstripes. I have not seen this one in person. The one thing that I don't like about it is that we have still the patches around the shoulders and coming up from the bottom. I think having this all in one color would look better, but other than that, really nice Adidas shirt. Gotta say. Japan probably has the most outstanding ones. Of course, Yamamoto Y3 design, so you don't even have the Adidas logo there. Again, the patching, slightly darker patches for the shards and for the upper paneling, but it doesn't show up as much. It's all kind of hidden away in this flamey pattern. Gives me a little bit the 2006 vibes where we also had a similar pattern and then the overall design kind of hid, hid it away. It's really nice looking overall. And you know, Japan being back to a slightly darker blue also looks good. Even the away jersey where we have the red shards that actually looks quite nice as well. I think both of these jerseys are really fine and I actually like it when Japan use a little bit red on their white because you know those are the colors of the nation's flag. Really nice looking well-designed jerseys. You pay a little bit of a premium. Usually Adidas jerseys now sell for 100 euros. For those you have to pay 110 still available. I guess since Japan is not playing at the World Cup, they're probably not as popular. And then I want to finish with another fresh released jersey. We already saw the Jamaica jerseys. Algeria have a similarly outstanding kit. The away kit, the home kit has the same pattern in white, but it's much more understated. But this away jersey in green, then you have the lime green, and then you have this great pattern. It's kind of a tree, definitely backed by Arabic architecture and, and so on. I absolutely love that one. And even the Algeria crest housed in that circle doesn't look out of place. And it's not one of the greatest crests out there, but here I don't mind it at all. This is where the Adidas template works really, really, really well. They even incorporate the shards in the overall design. This is an outstanding job. One of my favorite jerseys released by Adidas. Gotta say. So these are my picks of some jerseys that are really standing out for me besides the one that we know quite well. Do you agree with my choices here? Do you have any jerseys that stood out to you that you've watched over the last few days or months that were not featured in one of the big tournaments? Please drop a line below if that's the case. Otherwise, tell me 
which of the jerseys did you like in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on shorts. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.